The next thing we'll go over in running your WordPress website is how to edit the home page. From the dashboard, I'm going to go to pages and then I'll click all pages. And here I've put this one in the order of alphabetical. So we can scroll down, we're looking for home or front page and I'll click edit. Now each home page we create is gonna be a little bit different, but a lot of things are the same in that we use tabs like this. You'll see a hero section, a services section, a location section, a cosmetic section, a testimonial section. One thing I like to do is open up an, another window and have the front side of the website open. So here's the, the back end where I'm editing the home page. I'm just gonna minimize this. This is the home page editor and this is the front end of the website where I can see where the content is showing. So here I have a hero section. It's got this, this little section up above. On this particular site, we made it so that we have a little message up here. That can be changed. As you can see, here's the text that changes that. Um, and I can select the background color and all that. That's a particular function for this home page. The next thing is the hero image. That's what shows up right here. The hero image can be changed anytime you want. Here's the trick though. When I click on edit, before I change this image, I wanna make sure I take down some dimensions. First, it's 2048 wide by 636 high in pixels. That's an image size. So I need to make sure I note that because if I add a new image, it's gotta be that size. The next thing I wanna take note of is this is a JPEG image or JPG. That means that the image will load faster than let's say a PDF or PNG file. Um, most cases I use a JPEG image and this will vary from website to website and from picture to picture. So before I change pictures, I wanna make sure I know the dimensions and the type of file. Once I'm ready to change that, I would just click X and then you'll see add image. Now there's two tabs that show here, a media library and upload files. In this case, I'm just gonna to go to the media library and I'm gonna scroll down. I know that these images, when I click on this image, that's the same dimensions, 248 by 636 pixels, it's a JPEG, and I click select. I like the image, I think it's fine. I'm gonna click update up here in the top right corner. And then I'm gonna to go to the front end of the website and I'm gonna refresh the screen and you'll see that the image changes. The good news is once I've uploaded that image, I can X this, I can go back to add images and I can say, um, now that I saw that on the front end, I don't really wanna use that one. I'm gonna go back to the one I was using before. I select that image and then select and then update. And then I go to the front end of the website and there's the image again. Again, that's called the hero section or the hero image for the homepage. Um, then you'll see the title, Welcome to Aspen Dermatology, Your Skin Care is Our Priority. I can go here and see, oh, that's where this stuff shows up. So I could change that really easily. I'll also see CTAs, which stands for Call to Action. There's Contact Us Today, which is a link to the Contact Us page. And then there's Download Our Paperwork, which is a link to the, and you'll see on this one, I added the full URL. I could also do something like this, where I just take out that first part and then I have just the forward slash and whatever the suffix is on the domain. And then I can go up here again and click update. I wanna get in the habit every time I make changes to update just in case, because I, I may lose stuff if I don't update. Next, so that covers the first section. So that's all of this. The next part is in this case called the services section. So I can go to the front end of the website and I can see, oh, this is what we offer at Aspen Dermatology and it has all these pictures. What we offer at Aspen Dermatology, I could change that if I wanted to. And then it has a picture, text, and a link. Again, if I wanna change this picture, I can click on edit and then I notice the JPEG and 1000 by 667. All these pictures are gonna have the exact same dimensions, 1000 by 667. 
And then there's the specialty section. This is a different row, which if I go back here, there's the specialty section and there's those services. Image is 1000 by 67 JPEG. And then finally, there's a call to action, request an appointment. You notice here, this has form ID or link. Form ID is, is a, a lead capture form. So if I go here and I click on request an appointment, a lead capture form is gonna pop open. That form ID is number one. The way I can check that is if I go to, I'm gonna open up another window and go to forms. Um, this is gravity forms and you'll see I have three forms here. A contact us form, a download paperwork form, and a get scheduled form. The way I know the form ID is I look right here underneath ID. So there's one, two, three. That's where I would change here. If I wanted to do like the get scheduled, I would change that to number two and then click update. Then when I refresh this page and I click request an appointment, it's going to pull up, in this case, a blank space because that form isn't finished, but that's how I would change that. So I'll go back here, I'm gonna ed edit this again, put in the form that was there before, just number one, and then update. Next, we'll go to locations. So this is, if I go back to the front end of the site, the location, this is where this shows up. You'll see I have different pictures, different text. This one's a little bit more tricky because it has the, the title and then it has the main and a link and the title and an address and a picture and a map and a call to action and a link. So there's a lot of information to digest there. That's basically this, this is the link, this is the title, this is the address, this is the link to the directions or, or the Google link. And then this is the call to action. So if I go back here, I can see there's the main title that shows up here. And there's the link that that will go to. And then there's the title that shows up above the address. And there's the address. Another small thing you can note is in this case, I put a little bit of what's called HTML. I have the address and then what's called a break. And that little break just makes the content go to the next line. So if I go to the front end, this, there's a break here that makes it go to the second line. Otherwise, it would be one long line. So that's something to take note of. And then this goes down again, same thing with the images. I click the image size. This one's a different size than the ones we've looked at in the past. This is 700 by 480. And that's how I would change those. The cosmetic section, this is like a hero image. This is big, 1024 by 679 JPEG. Uh, that's gonna show up down here. And then there's the title, there's a link uh, or a logo. There's a call to action with a form and a call to action with a link to that specific page. And then finally, the testimonial section. This, here's what our clients think. If I go back to the front end, that's where that's gonna show up. There's a testimonial and there's a testimonial. There's little images and there's stars and their name. So that shows up here. There's the name, there's the image, there's the rating. You can go from one to five. There's their description. And then it goes here, same thing. If I wanted to add more, I would just click add testimonial and then I could put Nate and I could put an image and I've added some images here already. So like these little images, these are 60 by 60, so they're pretty small, but I can cl click select, I'll give it a five and this was great. And then I'll go back to the top and click update. And then I'll refresh the page and the way this works for a lot of our testimonial sections, we'll have, it's not automatic, it's not auto-rotating. I'll click the arrow and then there's Nate and it just shows that section. So that's not very complete. Uh, we would fill that out more to, to balance it all out. And that is how you edit the home page. Again, a couple of tips. Each of these is gonna be a little bit different, but for the most part, all of them are gonna follow a similar format with rows, with content and the best thing is to have the back end of the website and the front end of the website open at the same time so you can edit accordingly. Um, also, always make sure to update so that you don't lose the edits you've made.